Hello and welcome. Keep your hand in your skirt. My name is Sabrina Brightstar. I am the host Keep Your Hand in Your Skirt podcast. Today's topic is about manifestation and heart currency. What is the currency of your heart? What is the worth of your heart? Is the future going to be heart currency? Ah! Today I was listening to Lee Harris. I will put his uh, contact information in the show notes. I love Lee Harris. Uh, otherwise, just Google Lee Harris. And I he, Lee Harris channels the Z's. And today he was channeling the Z's when I was listening. And they talked about heart currency. Now that just gave me thrill bumps, goosebumps. Why? Well, last year I had gotten the head about creating a currency course. The currency of you is what I call it. It's my high self-esteem currency course, right? What the value of you, what is the currency of you? What is your worth, your self-worth? So when Lee was channeling the Z's and they are talking about heart currency, I just, yay! got so excited. And what he was sharing, what uh, the Z's were sharing is in the future, heart currency is going to be our highest commodity. It is going to be our most valuable commodity, our heart. And everything about that rings true to me. I am a big believer we are in the middle of a financial reset how that unfolds, what that looks like. I have no idea, but I love, love, love this concept that with the financial reset, our biggest asset, our biggest commodity, our largest investment is going to be our own heart, the value of you, the currency of you, heart currency. Does that just make you feel fantastic? And so, and while I was listening to that and getting all excited, I was just thinking like, how is that going to look? Like how, like what's that going to look like? Or, or what can I do to start contributing to that? Or what can I do to start elevating that knowing, that awareness? So people start doing the work, right? Because the more work you do, not that you have to do the work, but what if you have stuck, blocked aspects of yourself, patterns that you just keep looping, it's hard to honor or not even honor, but it's hard to access your whole heart, your full heart or your multidimensional heart, right? So as on the polarity planet, right, we are in the separation planet because most of us have a lot of separation programs, right? That we collectively agreed to do that. And as we're doing the work, we're clearing the programs, we're releasing patterns, we're releasing ancestor patterns, you know, trauma, all of this stuff. Then it just clears, it opens, it allows our whole self to become integrated, right? When we integrate and allow and honor our light aspects, our dark aspects, our feminine aspects, our masculine aspects, as we allow all parts, pieces of who we are to come to the table, we unite them, we harmonize them, then we get to the zero point. We get to that place where we have more balance. We have more space. And what happens when you have more space? What happens when you're able to be in your heart space from a more pure, right? From a more full place because you are functioning from allowing all of your aspects. Well, when when you're able to open your heart space, when you're able to uh, do the work and clear and release and alchemize these aspects that have been in pain or have been traumatized or you were the, the, the abuser, whatever the case is, but as we alchemize those programs that no longer serve us, that keep us small and separate, then as our heart opens, our light changes, our light gets bigger, it gets brighter energetically and physically, right? So you uh, are magnetizing, people are drawn to your frequency. So you don't even have to say anything. You don't even have to tell anyone, hey, I've spent the last two years doing the work. I've cleared a lot of family drama. I've cleared a lot of self-shame. I've cleared a lot of self-hate. I've cleared a lot of programs that didn't belong to me. And now like I just stand here 
and my light can be why my field right my energetic field is just broader it's brighter and i can be a bigger better contribution to anyone who comes into contact with me and so like we can do the work with without even advertising it so then later today i was on a walk i like to do a barefoot practice i don't know if you do barefoot practices where you just walk on the earth barefoot uh it's a magical practice because uh actually all your energy circuits get regulated when you walk on the earth the if you only can do it five, 10 minutes, it doesn't matter. It's all gonna be a contribution to you. That's a side note. But so anyway, I was doing my practice today, walking on the earth barefooted, and I got this download, right? Because I was thinking about this heart currency and I was thinking about um, what I heard from Lee Harris and the Z's and my own like background and my own knowing. And I got this download, why not ask, why not ask, share and appreciate. And I got the download, like, why not ask people to share my information? You know, this month I'm giving my complimentary 3D to 5D multidimensional course, complimentary, no strings attached. I just got inspired to offer it. I don't know why. I think it might have something to do with the eclipse. I think the, the I don't know, since the eclipse, things are just getting easier and easier for me. Uh, I, my my state of being feels lighter, freer, more spacious, more joyous. Uh, maybe it's a reward from, because I've done a lot of work this year, right? I've done a lot of clearing this year. So maybe it's just the reward program. Maybe it's the eclipses. I don't know, but I am just lighter. I just feel brighter. I just feel more joyful. And so I was inspired to just gift my course just like to to be a part of this right contribution let's let's get more people involved let's get more people understanding the separation program so we can start moving forward i am ready for heaven on earth i am ready for those new frequencies i feel like those new frequencies like they're just knocking on our door they they are invited to the party i am just ready for an easy reality and where it's equal, right? So it's easy for available for everyone, right? And there's no lopsidedness. I'm ready to lose the lopsidedness, lose the extremeness where certain people have it easier. I am ready for easy balance, pleasure for everyone. So um, back to this download that I got, I thought, why not ask people to share my information, to share this complimentary course that I'm offering. I have gotten feedback from several people and thank you. I, I wanna take a moment just to say like, your words touch me, I like, thank you. Like it, it, it feels so rewarding when you create something because of the pleasure of creating it, and then it's a benefit to somebody else, there's nothing more rewarding. It's like a win-win, law of mutual benefit. So I get this download, just ask. Ask for shares, ask people to share. And then I thought, well, if uh, what could I do? Like, if I'm gonna ask you to do something, I always wanted like, you know, have it be reciprocal. And I thought, what could I do? It, well, one of the most uh, beneficial things that I do is I create customized loops. So in my coaching program, I create different customized loops for my clients. And I thought I could create some loops. Most people are wanting to manifest something, right? They're wanting to pull something into their reality. And there's a reason they have not yet succeeded. And so without going into judgment that you haven't succeeded, a, a clearing loop can help you just release those limiting thoughts, release those limiting programs, just whether it's consciously or unconsciously, just start to releasing it. So then you have more resistance free to manifest, to actualize this thing that you are trying to summon unto yourself. And so they're just clearing loops. A lot of people do the clearing loops while they're tapping, right? Maybe you wake up in the morning and you do your tapping, you know, have you done tapping? It's a beautiful uh, modality that 
uh, helps your nervous system. It helps you unconsciously and consciously to release things that no longer serve you and get you back into balance and to be open so you know your worth, you know your value, you know your abundance, right? You know the currency of you. So some people use the loops for that. Some people just use them in their meditation practice. Some people fall asleep with them and they just keep them looping all night long. Everybody has a different way that they like to use these loops. So I decided I'm going to create eight different loops on eight different topics. And anyone that wants to share and appreciate, like, right, like you share and I want to appreciate, right? I want to share, I want to show appreciation for your share appreciation for share. And I am just so excited about this download. And then I thought, okay, well, um, how will I do it? So I'm going to create a page on sabrinabrightstar.com. So I'll just have a link. So if you want to share my complimentary course on your social medias, or you want to share um, the link with anyone, it's going to be on that page. And then it's going to be a page uh, that you can let me know which one of the clearing loops excite you, which one is calling you, and then I will send that to you. So I'll get your email address and then I'll just gift you with that. So you can find that at sabrinabrightstar.com and or you can go just to my email at sabrinabrightstar at gmail.com and then you will receive that. Now how will I know if you shared? Well I won't know and I won't look. I'm, I'm not the type, I just, I, I function from trust. I just tend to attract people that have integrity, that are just high frequency people. And if you say you did something, I just, I believe you. There's no reason I wouldn't believe you. I'm not the type to go uh, stalk. Like, that's just not my style. I don't believe in it. It just, it's, it feels like it's energetically draining and it's not something I would ever invest my time in. So if you contact me and say, hey, Sabrina, I shared your stuff. This is the clearing loop I want. Yeah, I'm just going to gift it to you. And I, I, that's what I feel is this heart frequency. It's co-creating right? Because we can co-create together. Just like I'm telling you what I heard from Lee Harris, right? Lee Harris work inspires me. And then I want to share that, right? I think when we just freely share, like what inspires us, what moves our heart, like that's a way we can all start like putting more currency in the 5D heart, right? The the 5D, the heart currency. We can make more and more deposits by being in that heart space and sharing with others from that heart space. And can you just imagine walking into, an angel showed me this one time, because uh, I was trying to figure out how are we ever going to like go to a reality where we don't judge each other anymore, right? I sh I'll, I'll uh, include the link to that show where I talked about how an angel showed me and shared with me how we are going to be able to go from a reality where most everyone is full of judgment, judgment for themselves, judgment for others, and how we will be able to tip the scales and move into a reality where we walk into a space of unconditional love. And that's what I feel that this uh, heart currency is that uh, the Z's talked about. Let's get into that heart space, right? We are such a contribution to anyone who comes into contact with us when we are intentionally functioning from our heart space. And now I'm not saying we should try to measure it and do it perfectly. We don't want to fall into the perfectionism program, right? The perfectionism program is a separation program. I, I made a podcast about that too. Uh, perfectionism is not real. So we'll go into our heart space and different things will happen and we'll pop in and out of it. That's what popping in and out of the third dimension and the fifth dimension is. We're just practicing and becoming aware that we can be spending more and more of our conscious time in 5D, in our heart frequency. And when we fall out, no big deal, no judgment, Hey, we are on a polarity planet. We are on a separation planet. So if we used to spend 100% of our life in separation, and then we started, so, you know, getting to our heart frequency, our multidimensionality, 10%, like, that's great. And then maybe, like, that got comfortable, or we got familiar with that, or we changed our set point on that, and we start spending 30% of our reality in our con our multidimensional consciousness, in our 5D consciousness. That's how it works 
works. And then, and then that becomes comfortable. That becomes our new set point. That becomes familiar. That becomes our automatic. And then pretty soon we're 48% functioning from our multidimensionality. And the more of us that are doing it, the more of us that are intentionally opening our heart space, intentionally clearing and doing the work when something shows up that pulls you out of it. If there's some work to do, we intentionally do the work. We intentionally release it, maybe with clearing, right? Maybe with uh, tapping, maybe with, um, there's so many different ways that we can go in and release patterns. And the biggest way is just by honoring that there is a, a pattern. There is something that's creating a separation and separation hurts separation is, you know, it's, it's very, it can be very painful. And separation, there's different emotions that show up when separation is happening. So instead of judging those emotions like anger or rage or jealousy or grief or sadness or loneliness, instead of like, we no longer have to judge our emotional body. We can invite all of our aspects to come to the table, to be seen, to be validated. And then we can alchemize it, right? We like things just alchemize when everything is included. So I am inviting you. Would you like to share? Would you like to share and uh, co-create with me? Would you like to co-create and manifest with me? I would love it. I would absolutely love it. So the way you, you can do this again is go to sabrinabrightstar.com. You'll see I have a uh, I don't know if I'll call it, I haven't created the page yet. Maybe I'll call it the share page. Maybe that's, yeah, why don't I call it the share page, right? Share and appreciate page. You share, I appreciate it, right? And then let's all co-create. Like what, what else can we start sharing and appreciating with each other? Does the, I'm just excited. I'm very excited. So uh, I will put Lee's information in. I will put my links in. Um, I will put my podcast about perfectionism in the show notes. Hopefully I'll include it all and get it all up and ready because this is only for October. My complimentary course is only in October, the whole month of October. So um, it's a little time sensitive. So hopefully I'll get this uploaded and I'll get this out in the next day and we can just keep co-creating being in the field of magic and possibilities. Thanks for listening. Good evening.